what's going on guys so today i want to talk to you about my ghoul rc motor and esc after owning it for two months now i think two or one uh i'll tell you on the top of my screen on like the screen of how much months i've had it i, th I think it's two or three i mean two one or two so also i did a light mod put a little led and you can it's so bright in real life like watch so it's pretty brown camera but like like it's, it's it literally just lights up like the whole house like i'll drive it around here i don't know if i can drive with one hand i'll try you can just see how bright it is and you can do different modes So, what I did is I just hot glued it down, and flip over the body. It's plugged into the receiver, and the control panel's up there, so there's like a button right there. And if I can press the button, what will happen is that the light can go, if I can get it, okay, got it, it can go dimmer. Or it can flash. And then it can just turn off. So, on, dim, flash, off. So that's what it looks like when it's off. Pretty big LED. And, and, yeah. So, as you can see inside, that's the, so, here. So that is, the green light is the receiver. Here, let's go ahead and take off the body, shall we? So I can give you guys... A closer look in the inside of my truck system. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My phone said you ran out of storage again. No joke. So I had to delete the last previous video. So, like I was saying, let's take a look under the hood. If I can get this body off. Okay. So, I neatly did the wires by just kind of routing it down that way. Not really that neat. And then I kind of tucked it behind the two foam pieces and then there's a control panel and then if you fold it down these are all the wiring i just put it under my little strap my velcro strap as you can see here i have the receiver and it's all hot glued and waterproof because i don't like to take out the box and plug stuff in and unplug it and it just gets annoying so and this is the the esc here let me turn on my flashlight real quick Alright, that's way better. So, you can see uh, the fan right here. And I just have the it hot glued on because it can turn off sometimes, which is pretty annoying. And this thing is, it's it's always ice cold when I'm doing 2S. I've never done 3S. Same with the motor. Like, right now, the motor is, like, ice cold. And before when I was driving it outside, even though it was really cold outside, it was still ice cold. So, I've taken this thing in snow. Uh, and I think it's waterproof. I think they updated it or something. Here, let me unplug it. So it's not, the fan's not running. Killing my 2S Lipo. Alright, sorry, my brother's Fortnite's in the background, but, um, so this ESC, let's, let, let's talk about the ESC, because that's what we all came here for. So the ESC is pretty garbage. Let's just say that. So, pull the trigger. And then it goes. Uh, here, let me give you guys a quick demonstration. Like, I mean, it's a pretty bad delay. Here, watch. I'll do slow-mo right now. Here, ready? It's pretty bad. But once you get it going, the delay is not that bad. So usually I'll just do this. Just, I'll just usually stay on the trigger for like most of the time. And then when I need to do full like punch or something, I'll just do this. But as you can see, this motor is pretty crazy. And if I hold the other tire on the other end, so all the power goes to one wheel, watch this. 
not even joking, my phone ran a storage again, so I had to delete other videos. Alright, ready guys? Three, two, one. And yeah, this thing is pretty crazy. These drive shafts, I have no idea how they're holding up. They're plastic. Uh, they're good for now. I don't have to need to upgrade them. Uh, so this is the gear. Uh, I, like I said, and when I got this motor, an ESC 5mm shaft, so I had to get different gearing. And this gearing is really good. Haven't, I've had it for like a long time now. It hasn't stripped at all. It's perfect. So... I think I'm going to keep this motor. Eventually, I'm going to get a different ESC because this ESC is pretty trash, as you can see right there. And this motor uh, can take up to 3S LiPo. Probably 4S, but probably overheat in smoke. Now, I have had one of these things go up in smoke, and I'll tell you what happened. So, basically, what happened is... Um, so, I was driving at my grandma's house, right? Everything was going fine. Until my motor was being weird, or something was being weird, I don't know. But the motor was going like, doo, 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 doo. oh, there's hot glue on my finger. Let me get that off, right? So it was going like, it was, it was like when I go full throttle, I would do this, and it was do that weird motor twitchy thing. I was like, what the heck? So I just kept trying, 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 which is a bad idea. Hey guys, Christian from the future here, and this is what it sounded like. I should not have done this. So it's rather the ESC went bad or the motor went bad. And um, so I try. I went back home at, from my grandma's house and everything was okay. And then, and then, well, not everything was okay. What I was trying to say is I turned it back on just to try it again because I was upset. I was like, oh no, please don't be broken. So then I tried it again and then it did the same thing. And then it just started smoking. And I was like, okay, this is toast. So the motor literally locked up. I don't know if I can fix it. I still have the motor and the ESC. We try to, we're gonna try to send it back to Amazon, but it's probably too late. But yeah, so that's what happened. So what I'm trying to say, guys, is do not buy this ESC and motor combo. It's pretty good if you know what you're doing. Just as long as you don't be stupid. Like I mean, you literally have to be perfect with this thing like you literally can't do one single thing wrong with it do one single wrong wrong thing with it and it's it's done for so what i would recommend is you guys would get this motor right here which is like 25 bucks right then i would recommend you get like a maybe like a what's it called what's it called maybe just some nice esc like from another, another brand uh, I can't remember what it's called. If I can remember, I'll put the name of a brand of a good ESCs on the screen right now. And those should be good ESCs. And yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. If you got so many questions, please let me know down below. And like always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.